all to alignment tonight to this this space for um, grounding, for stillness, for centering ourselves for the week ahead and for the week that has been a space where we lift all prayers and honor all traditions and cherish all people. And we are absolutely delighted to have Marnie back leading us tonight. The last time, Marnie, that you were with us, you were in the throes of preparing for your album. And I know we got to hear some things you were working on that uh, touched us deeply at the time. Mm -hmm. And now, for those of you that have seen their album, The Long Short Path, it is an absolute treasure and a mainstay for your contemplative life, all of you who are following the long short path. So Marnie, thank you for creating this as our, our safe and our brave space tonight where we can think about topics of grief and heartache and change through the beauty of prayer and music. So welcome tonight, Marnie, and thank you. Thank you so much for having me, Reverend Margaret. It's so lovely to be back here with the community. How can everyone hear me? Okay. Yeah. Um, I just want to start with some music and then we'll do a little bit of grounding together. But if you just want to find your seat, maybe lay down, get into a comfortable position, put your feet on the ground, close your eyes. I invite you to do whatever feels safe and good in your body. And find a few deep breaths. And just allow the sound to wash over you. You are strong enough to So we gather here for a brief amount of time to allow ourselves to sit with, to be in compassionate 
companionship with our grief, with heartbreak, and with change. Grief happens in many moments in our lives, big and small, and something we carry with us as we continue to grow and as time passes. Grief comes when we lose those that we love. Grief arrives when we witness violence and loss and sadness and pain and hurt. Grief also comes when we find ourselves one day in life realizing that we are different than who we were just one year ago. It comes when we notice how a relationship that used to be one way is now a different way. When we find ourselves in a career and realize that it's not precisely where we want to be anymore. Grief comes when we made a dish for dinner that didn't quite turn out the way that we wanted it to. We walk with senses of loss, both in the day to day and on grand scales. And it is so vital, for me at least, to make time to tend to heartbreak, to tend to dealing with noticing, realizing, and holding change and grief and loss. In this moment in our world, in such a big public way, we're witnessing so much grief and so much heartbreak and holding it. And I am holding in my heart so many people from across the globe, in Palestine, in Israel, in the Congo, in so many countries and places where hearts are breaking and life is being lost and in our country too where we continue to have hurt and pain and grief in our own um, cities and communities and on our soil and so dedicating this moment to holding space for heart heartbreak and grief for all of the families and individuals and land that is grieving alongside us today i want to invite us to ground together Grief can be a very heavy and big thing to feel. And so I don't expect that we're just going to let it overflow and flood us. Grief wants a container sometimes. It wants compassionate holding. It wants boundaries. It wants to know that it can be held and loved and contained with care and with attentiveness, with tenderness. Um, so I invite you to just find your feet on the ground where you are. And if you feel comfortable closing your eyes or finding a soft gaze and starting to take a few deep breaths and just noticing how your body is feeling. Maybe you want to do a short body scan. Just noticing the top of your head and slowly moving your way down, feeling your forehead, noticing any sensations there along your face, allowing your attention to continue to move at your own pace, slowly down your body. Where are you? What are you feeling? What sensations are you feeling in this moment? As we scan and notice, just physically checking in with ourselves, I want us to begin to imagine that we're building a little container for ourselves, something to hold us, to embrace us, to hug us, as we allow ourselves to move through some music, as we allow ourselves to move through some emotions that maybe are a little bigger. What does your container look like? Who does it look like? Is it a person? Is it a beloved pet? Is it just a box of colors? What color is your container? What is it made out of? How does it feel to be held and wrapped in that? You can just keep noticing as you're building yourself this container. Allowing yourself to melt into it, to sit beside it, 
to let it witness you and hold you. I'm also inviting into this space the memory of some folks shared in the chat that people are holding with them. And I invite you to hold in your heart and bring forward if you want to put it in the chat, if you want to just hold it with you or whisper it in your space. Somebody that you're holding in your heart or something, maybe some something or someone that has been a source of grief for you in your life in recent times. In the Jewish tradition, we have a beautiful container for this, a container of a week and a year, a week and 30 days and a year to really guide us through the process of grief and loss for somebody that was beloved to us. And so just honoring and uplifting the ancestors, the people, the places, the jobs, the things that we are grieving and holding with us today.
be held in our narrow place, may we allow ourselves to let our voices cry out when we need to express the pain and the grief and the sorrow and the weight on our chest. May we allow our voice to cry out and to be heard in the expanse, to flow into the great expansiveness that is this universe, that is the beauty of all interconnected life, that is layers and layers of universes, that is the divine, that is the great forces that hold us, that we find comfort in and safety and peace in, in our times of need. Anani Amehavya Anani Amehavya Who answered me in the expanse? I'm going to sing a nigun, a wordless melody. In many senses, nigun is just a universal term for a melody with no words for sinking into the music. And it also comes from the 16th century Jewish movement, the Hasidic movement, where the nigun and this wordless melody becomes a source of outpouring, emotional expression, emotional connection, aliveness, and presence. And this one um, is inspired by wintering, the process of wintering. There's a beautiful book called Wintering that is uh, written about grief and how we all have winters in our lives. Not just the winter that happens seasonally, but winters that may be years or chapters or weeks of our lives. And our seasons in the embodied world brings us through that cycle and reminds us that winter is a part of the seasons of life. And so this nigun is from that place of welcoming the wintering, welcoming that energy and creating a safe space for it. catch on to the melody. I'm going to sing it a few more times and feel free to close your eyes and join in. Sing along. Maybe you just want to hum one note. Maybe you want to try to sing the melody note for note with me. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. 
Are loved by an unending love, one of the prayers from the Jewish morning service. It grounds us in our knowledge of this infinite love that surrounds us. And when we're in grief and heartbreak, moments of change and loss, there's no need to fix or figure anything out. And sometimes when we have the capacity, we can allow ourselves to surrender to the love that is around us, to feel both the love of the people that, is, that are around us and also the love of this world, the love that I might just feel from the chair that I'm sitting on and that is supporting me, from the warmth that might be in my house, keeping me cozy and well in my body. We allow ourselves to just take a moment and notice the sources of love that we are experiencing right now in this moment. And if you want to write in the chat some source of love that is holding you right now, a place where you're feeling love surround you and wrap you and cloak you in its present, lifting you up in your dark moments, in your mezar, in your narrow place. Please share with us as we sing Ahava Rabba.
great compassionate is compassionate. You have loved us in infinite love. You have been compassionate upon us with infinite compassion. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your compassion. Thank you for holding us. Uh, if it's okay, I want to just close with one more song. And feel free to leave if you need to get going somewhere. And I'm going to write the lyrics in the chat um, so that we can all sing together. Sound of typing. Okay. Silence typing and radiators. It's the song we opened with, and I invite you to follow along, sing along, close your eyes, whatever feels good for you. And as we move out of this container that we've created ourselves, created for ourselves to just feel a little bit of grief, to be in the music, to be with memories, to be with loved ones who are no longer here, to be with each other, to be with the sources of strength that support us. I invite us to sort of begin to allow that container to sort of embrace us and if you can imagine it like coming inside of you as something we'll carry with us outside of this space as grief is not linear and it continues to visit us both planned and unplanned and we have song and we have each other and our our own holding compassion and the love of the universe to hold us through that you strong enough.
with love and strength and music and open heart space and compassion for the grief and the heartbreak and the loss and the change. Thank you all for being here and for your presence with yourself and with each other. So grateful for learning. And my friends who have gathered here, may you carry this with you through the week, knowing that divine that is within you and that is created in the connections that we find through music and through prayer from different traditions every time. And we're so grateful to you, Marnie, for bringing yours to us tonight. Peace to all. And as always, I will remain on the line if there is anyone who needs to talk afterwards if anything is sitting with you that you need some more space with um, but for now hope you will come back next week or whenever it is that you need this space we are always here thank you marnie and gratitude to you all for being here peace to you all <laughs>